This is my stepfather, Tengiz Lansky, who was killed in Bucha on March the 3rd this year as a result of Russia's aggression against Ukraine. Tengiz was 55. He was a former participant in the anti-terrorist operation. He did not want to leave Bucha after the start of a full-scale invasion of Russian troops into the territory of Ukraine. During the attack that took place on February the 24th, he tried to join the units of territorial defense of Kyiv, but unfortunately he was sent back. He reached on foot because the bridges were already destroyed. He reached Bucha on foot, where I left him my car. Here he contacted the local anti-terrorist operation veterans. Unfortunately, he and his friend Bushui were killed. Tengiz was shot at one of the checkpoints by the Russian military. It was only in mid-April that Artem found out that his stepfather had been killed. The body was found on the kyiv warsaw highway. Once Tengiz left the native Georgia due to Russian military aggression, but the men did not survive the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. I saw the body before the funeral, although it was in a terrible condition, as it had been lying in the street for a month. He had no eyes. I don't know what happened to them. His head and chest were hit by bullets. It may not be possible to say so, but I am very glad that he was not tortured for a month. Because bodies of other people were also found in sewer holes, where people lay there alive for months, with their hands tied, so at least he died instantly from a weapon, like a warrior. Hundreds of residents of Bucha lost their relatives during the occupation of the Kyiv region by Russian troops. Some of them, 52 families, received apartments in one of the new buildings. These are the relatives of those who have defended their country since 2014 and since the beginning of the full-scale invasion. The memory of three people was honored with a minute of silence. After the horrors of the Russian occupation, Bucha is recovering and returning to a peaceful life. Destroyed buildings are being repaired and preparations are being made for the heating season. Today we have several priorities. Undoubtedly, the number one priority is the restoration of housing and normal livelihoods in all cities of the Kyiv region. The following steps are taking place in Bucha, as well as throughout the region. First of all, these are 400 million hryvnias, which were allocated by the government for current repairs. It was partially sent to the city of Bucha. The regional budget also allocated 15 million hryvnias to Bucha in August. The medical sector is also recovering. In Vorzel, this is the Bucha territorial community, a renovated clinic has been opened. During the occupation of the Kyiv region by Russian troops, the roof, the facade of the building were damaged here due to shelling, windows were broken. Today, the medical facility is ready to receive patients. It is important for us to demonstrate the steps that are taken for people to receive services. All the necessary equipment for this level of the hospital is provided here. And the most unique is the team, the team that stayed here during the occupation, provided services to residents in difficult times, risking their lives. But we all survived. Foreign charitable organizations are actively helping to rebuild what was destroyed by the Russian occupiers. They collect donations around the world, primarily for the restoration of critical infrastructure. They say that Ukraine can continue to count on the support of democratic countries. We can feel 100% full support, care of the world, care of the people in different countries, incredible support all over the world. Everyone is with us. The plans are optimistic, but it all depends on how many people will join our initiative, how many people around the world will support our foundation, support Ukraine. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Larissa Zubenko, UATV News.